Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Amjad. In this video we will learn about unemployment. Dear scholars, one Thomas Carlyle said that a man willing to work and unable to find work is perhaps the saddest sight that fortunes inequality exhibits under sun. Economists study unemployment to identify its causes and to help improve public policy that affect the unemployed. Uh, some of these policies uh, such as uh, job training program help people find employment others such as unemployment insurance anywhere some of the hardship that unemployed face still other policies that affect the prevalence of unemployment inadvertently laws mandating a high minimum wage for instance are widely thought to raise unemployment among the least skilled and inexperienced members of the labor force by talking about the introduction of the unemployment Unemployment is the macroeconomic problem that affects people most directly and severely. For most people, the loss of a job means a reduced uh, living standard and psychological distress. It is no surprise that unemployment is a frequent topic of political debate and that politicians often claim that their proposed policies would help create jobs. Our discussion of the labor market so far as have ignored unemployment like we have discussed the classical model of national income uh, which we have the assumption that uh, economy is always at full employment in reality not everyone in the labor force has a job all the time in all free market economies at any moment some people are unemployed although the rate of unemployment fluctuates from year to year from country to country it never gets even close to zero in the case of us the average rate of unemployment is between uh, five and six percent meaning that about one out of every 18 people wanting a job does not have one we begin our, our uh, study of unemployment by discussing why there is always some unemployment and what determines its level. Uh, we do not study what determines the year to year fluctuation in the rate of unemployment in this video. Here we examine the determinants of natural rate of unemployment, and the average rate of unemployment around which the uh, economy fluctuates. Uh, the natural rate is the rate of unemployment towards which uh, the economy gravitates in the long run uh, given all the labor market imperfection that impairs workers from instantly finding jobs. Okay, uh, job loss, uh, job finding and natural rate of unemployment. Dear scholar, every day some workers uh, lose or quit their jobs and some unemployed workers are hired. This perpetuate ebb and flow determine the fraction of labor force that is unemployed. In this section, we develop a model of labor force dynamic that shows uh, what determines the uh, natural rate of unemployment. We start uh, with some notation that uh, L denotes the uh, labor force, E the number of uh, uh, employed worker and U the number of unemployed worker uh, because uh, uh, every worker is either employed or unemployed. So the labor force is the sum of the employed and unemployed uh, workers we have L is equal to E plus U in this notation uh, the rate of unemployment is uh, U over L so let's see a graphical presentation uh, first that the transitions between employment and unemployment so let's start our discussion with unemployment uh, unemployed person uh, start searching a job finding a job and uh, when he is uh, starts searching a job and uh, after finding a job he is considered uh, an implied person and sometime that implied person will uh, uh, will separate it from the job and that job separation will create unemployment so in every period a fraction s of the implied lose their jobs and a fraction f of the unemployed uh, find jobs the rate of job separation and job finding determines the rate of unemployment in the economy 
Okay, here we have the question to, to see uh, what factor determine the unemployment rate. Uh, uh, we assume here, let's assume that uh, labor force L is fixed and focused on transition of individuals in the labor force uh, between employment E and unemployment U. So let S denotes the rate of uh, job separation, the fraction of uh, implied individual who lose or leave their jobs each month. Let F denote the rate of job finding, the fraction of unemployed individual uh, who find a job each month. Together, the rate of job separation S and the rate of job finding F determines the rate of unemployment. If unemployment rate is neither rising nor falling, that is, if the labor market is in a steady state, then the number of people finding jobs FU must equal the number of people losing jobs SE. It can be written in the steady state condition as uh, we have FU is equal to SE. So when we have S, uh, uh, FU is equal to SE, uh, now use this equation to find the steady state unemployment rate from definition of the labor force. Uh, it is known that E is equal to L minus U, that is the number of implied equal the labor force minus the uh, number of unemployed. Okay, if by substituting L minus U for E in the steady state condition, it is found uh, that uh, F U is equal to S into L minus U. Uh, next, divide both sides by uh, by equation uh, by L to obtain. Uh, we have uh, F into U over L is equal to S into 1 minus U over L. Okay, now solve it for u over l to find we have u over l is equal to s over s plus f. This equation can be uh, written as u over l is equal to 1 over uh, 1 plus f over s. This equation shows that the steady state rate of unemployment u over l depends on the rate of job separation and job finding f. Uh, the higher the rate of job separation, the higher the unemployment rate. The higher the rate of job finding, the lower the unemployment rate. So let's see a numerical example. Suppose that one person of employed lose uh, their job each month. We have S is equal to 0 0.01. This means that on average job uh, uh, last 10 months, uh, 100 months, or about 8 years. Okay, suppose further that 20% uh, of unemployed find a job each month, we have F is equal to 0 0.20, so that uh, that spells of uh, unemployment last 5 months uh, on average. So, so then the steady state rate of unemployment is uh, u over l is equal to 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.01 plus 0 0.20 is equal to 0 0.0476. So uh, uh, the rate of unemployment uh, in this example is about 5%. This simple model of natural rate of unemployment has an important implication for public policy. Here, any policy aimed at lowering the natural rate of unemployment must either reduce the rate of job separation or increase the rate of job finding. Similarly, any policy that affects the rate uh, of job separation or job finding also changes the a natural rate of unemployment. Although this model is useful in relating the unemployment rate uh, to job separation and job finding, it fails to answer a central question, why is there unemployment uh, in the first place? If a person could always find a job quickly, then 
the rate of job finding would be very high and the rate of unemployment would be near to zero. This model of uh, unemployment rate assume that uh, finding uh, is not uh, uh, instant but uh, it fails to explain why uh, 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 why uh, the job uh, separation and job finding is more important. We uh, have discussed in the video about uh, unemployment, uh, job loss, job finding and natural rate of unemployment. So see you with another video. Ciao.